What's going on guys? In today's video, we are going to be doing a tutorial of House Call Pro. I'm going to be walking you through the backend dashboard. We're going to be looking at things like estimates and invoicing, adding customers, um, how your employees can use that for dispatching. Uh, we're also going to be talking about some of the other features like reporting, uh, as well as taking payment and payroll. So you're going to want to stay tuned as we are going to jump right into it right now. Also, House Call Pro offers a 14-day free trial. We've provided a link below in the description and in the comments for you to use. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a free trial, so you can basically sign up, play around with the platform, uh, and see if it'll work for you. Uh, essentially, they say that they're for these industries here, so in, anything from HVAC to landscaping, pool and spa, pest control. So if you're in any of these industries, this is definitely a software that you're going to want to check out. So. Once you've signed up for the 14 day free trial, you'll be able to basically access a dashboard that looks, sorry, something like this. So this is basically your overview dashboard. They might get you the get started section, but the home tab is basically where you'll start at. From here, it's just gonna give you an overview of everything that's going on inside your business. So you're gonna see your open estimates and your closed estimates. Uh, you'll have kind of quick links to all of your jobs and invoices. You'll be able to see kind of top level performance for finances. So like revenue and jobs completed, average job size. You'll also be able to see a quick little map that shows you uh, where your employees are as well as your jobs that are coming up. I've just added one here so you can see as a demo. Um, and then just kind of what's on the schedule for today and just the activity that's happening inside of House Call Pro. Now, the next question that most people have is, all right, well, how do we use this platform? So we're going to take a look at probably the most common areas that you'll be in. So in the scenario where a customer calls you and they're looking to get an estimate, this is basically how it would happen. So you would click on the schedule. Um, if you have a CSR, they would be doing this. But if you're taking those calls, this is how you would do it. You're going to see your schedule set up. You'll be able to see the different employees that work in your business, and you'll be able to see their individual schedules. As you can see, I have Chevy P, which is me here. That's actually this little circle here that shows the employee that's assigned to each uh, job. And then essentially, if a customer calls in, you can talk with them to say, all right, well, we have an opening here, let's say Thursday the 16th. If we were to go and add that, we have the option to add as a job, an estimate, or an event. In this case, we're adding an estimate because we're going out to provide them an estimate on services to be done. This is essentially what that next page looks like. So from here, you'll be able to add the new customer. So if the customer isn't, if they're already in the system, you can essentially just search them and choose them this way. And if they're not, you'll be able to add a new customer here and you'll be able to add all of the information about that customer, which is you know the standard name, email, phone number, uh, if they're with a company or a business, you can add that here as well. You can even have a quick checkbox if you don't want to service that customer. Uh, their address, if they're a landlord or have multiple businesses, or sorry, multiple addresses, you can add that as well. Uh, you can add customer notes and tags as well as the lead source if you know where that comes from. The send notifications button is just basically so that when you are dispatching to the job or sending an invoice or whatever that is, the customer will receive notifications during that process. I'll go into that more in a second. So once the uh, person is added, it'll show up here just like this on the side. You'll see what time that schedule or what time that estimate has been scheduled for. And then from here, you'll have the option to add the actual quote. Now, in most cases, we don't provide quotes unless we're already at the job. But if you are um, kind of a, a fixed model where it's like a maintenance or you already know what the price of that service is going to be, you could add that here. But by leaving this blank, that's okay too. This can get filled in by the technician or the estimator or yourself when you arrive at the job to see what is needed. Um, tax rate, that'll automatically get filled in when you update your settings for your tax rates. And this is going to show kind of a, a, a summary. So. The person who shows up at the door, they're going to be able to fill this in at a later time. You'll also have private notes. So this is good to add for the person who's going to show up at the customer's house. You could say, you know, customer looking for a quote on a new AC, something like that. There's also fields. So you can categorize this into different uh, divisions. So usually it's an installation or a repair. That's how most companies categorize it. If you have multiple business units, you can add that here as well. 
and basically the rest of this information that can either be added by the person booking in the job or the person who's showing up for the job or for the estimate I should say so once that is done you can essentially say save estimate and we'll do that here and now this is slotted into that time slot and that person which I will get a ding is going to get a notification email that says hey um, your estimate has been scheduled from here the technician who shows up at the house when they are going out to do the job they'll basically sign in on the app version of this and they'll be able to click this button here on my way and that's going to give the customer another notification either by text or by email to say that hey we're on our way they're going to get a little map that shows um, the customer as well um, and then they can basically add in the estimate and they can send off that estimate to the customer so once these things are in here and let's say we're the technician that shows up at the house we'll just add this temporary kind of estimate here and we say it's gutters this is just a fixed thing that they've already included you can provide multiple options up here as well so if the customer wants quote on a multiple different services you can provide that and then essentially you can view and send that estimate off to the customer and that basically just looks like this and you'll be able to add your own branding and your own information here um, but this is going to speed up your quoting process like crazy like you're going to be able to send out a quote in in five minutes after leaving the job if you need to uh, so this is really going to improve the efficiency of your business in terms of estimating and quoting and being able to take payment for the jobs and if you're wondering what that looks like for the customer when they receive an estimate um, it looks like this so they'll receive an email once again branding will be your branding you can customize what this email looks like they can click on view estimate and essentially that is going to bring up the estimate for them and they can approve or decline that when it comes to doing the job as well if they approve the estimate it's very similar here let's bring it back up our section and we'll close this out there'll be a section here where you can approve the estimate and you can copy this to a job and pretty much the same thing happens again you'll choose the time frame for the job assign the technicians or people who are going to do the job and um, on the app they can also uh, click on time tracking for themselves as well to choose um, when they've started and stopped so you can have that tied to their hours which I'll show you here in a second so this is kind of the major point of using the platform so we're gonna jump next we've covered scheduled we covered customers uh, you can just add customers manually if you'd like we'll jump into the my money section this is a spot where you're going to want to go a lot and this is just going to show you all of the payments that are coming in and when those are going to get deposited to your account so essentially you can have money go directly to your account but there's a fee or you can just have it set up where payments you know push to your bank every so many days or so many i think it's three to five days or something like that you can also get a card reader so you can take credit uh, tap there is obviously credit card fees that apply um, What's a really cool thing about Housecall Pro though is that they actually have consumer financing built into their platform. So you can essentially sign up for this. Uh, when you go out to a quote to a home, if that job is four or $5,000, not everybody has that kind of money to just pay on, uh, on the spot. You can provide them lower monthly payment options and really provide this right through the platform, which is pretty awesome. They do have some other things like lines of credit and stuff, but we won't get into that right now. Another really awesome feature is, of course, the payroll. I mentioned before of how um, employees can register to their time or they can um, uh, clock in and clock out on the app. So essentially, this is what their payroll system is. It is an add-on to the price, um, but honestly, it's not too bad. It integrates with QuickBooks, and, you know, creates all of their tax forms already. So pretty awesome tool, um, and uh, definitely, definitely would want to check that out. The last spot we'll walk through today is the reporting section. There's a price book here as well, so if you have um, a lot of different fixed pricings, as in you have a lot of different services that are, are always kind of standardized, you can add a price book there as well and basically add those to your prices so that when you're adding estimates, it's a lot faster for your team and there's no complication there. The reporting tab basically gives you a report for anything you want, so you can pull your revenue, you can pull your expenses, you can pull your cost per job, all of that stuff can be pulled here. Uh, list of customers, list of leads. Um, this is another uh, really awesome section that you'll pretty much dive into a lot with 
within Housecall Pro. So once again, definitely sign up for the 14 day free trial. Give it a shot yourself. See if the platform is right for you. Uh, in the future, we will be doing a formal review uh, of the platform and we'll be comparing things like marketing and kind of the extra features that they have uh, above and beyond what we've gone through here today. As always, subscribe below for more content like this and marketing content for home services. And we'll see you in the next video.